In episode six, the morning show is heading out to California to cover the California wildfires that were alluded to in episode five. Fred, who ironically is having to flee his home because of the California wildfires, has made the decision to send the morning show out there because all the competition's out there and he thinks the optics would be good. But no one really seems to want to go. Especially Alex, who right before she leaves has an argument with her husband who finally asks for divorce. And then there's Bradley, who wakes up hungover in Corey's hotel room, but nothing happened. He really just kept an eye on her. And all three of them separately head to the airport to get to California. And Alex is still treating Bradley like a complete and total bitch, but at this point, it has more to do with Alex's personal life than anything Bradley could actually do. And when they arrive in California, the team immediately starts going through stories they can cover, and they decide they're going to end the show with a guy who's saving puppies, but Bradley doesn't want to do that because she thinks it's a weak story to end on. And when Bradley suggests a harder story, Alex snaps back at her, is this going to be every day with you? We're morning TV. We want people to feel happy at the end of the show. We don't want people slitting their wrists. And the story that Bradley Bradley wants to cover is the fact that rich people are hiring their own firefighting teams to combat the blaze where the poor just have to watch their homes burn. And it's an interesting story, so Chip interjects and says, okay, we'll look more into that story for you, Bradley, but for the moment, we're going to end the show with the guy saving puppies. After the production meeting, Chip heads over to have a meeting of his own with Corey Ellison, who's covering UBA's entertainment department for the day. And Chip says that he feels like at this point they're in a mob family and the Don is coming for him, but Chip has connections to get him out of that job if Corey wants it. And Corey says, yeah, I've thought about it, but we need a story to come out that would make him look pretty bad. And right now, I don't know what that story is. And Chip says, yeah, I wonder what it would be. And Corey says, yeah, I wonder what it would be. And Corey's basically putting this in Chip's hands that if you want to keep your job because you're scared of what Fred might do, then you need to go find that story that makes Fred look really bad. That night, as the team continues to prep, Claire comes into Bradley's trailer. And Claire is the one who found the story on the firefighters being privatized by rich communities. And Bradley absolutely loves that story and tells her, you know, I'm interviewing possible assistants and I think you'd be great for the job and offers it to her. And it's a great fit because Claire has loved Bradley's energy from the moment she started on the morning show. And Claire is over the moon with excitement and wants to share it with her boyfriend, Yanko Flores. And while Yanko is proud of her, He doesn't want to be seen this close to her because of still the Mitch Kessler allegations. The next day, the morning show is going to kick off their first episode from the California wildfires. And right before they go to air, Bradley tries to talk to Alex, but Alex cuts her off and says, look, let's get something clear. You don't like me and I don't like you. And all we have to do is work together for two hours a day. And then after that, we just have to act like civilized adults. And on screen, the two look fine, but off the screen, it's the exact opposite. And the main reason why is because Alex continues to treat Bradley like shit, but has nothing to do with anything Bradley's doing. It really is Alex's personal life. And more specifically, her relationship with her own daughter. When they're not filming for the morning show, she's looking at pictures of her daughter, and she's tearing up. And she's blaming it on the smoke, but it's not the smoke. She's in a very fragile state. And at the end of the episode, they do that segment with the guy saving dogs, And he mentions his family, and that hits an emotional chord. And then he brings up the dog who he saved and that you don't want to break up a family because the dog had puppies. And Alice completely loses it. I mean, she's having a breakdown on camera to the point where Bradley actually has to finish this interview. And since this never happened before, everybody in the morning show is pretty concerned about Alex. Alex goes and hides in her trailer, and Bradley goes after her. And at first, Alex is pretty rude to Bradley, but then she starts throwing up, and Bradley starts holding her hair back. And as soon as she's done puking, she yells and snaps at Bradley that you got your show now leave so Bradley does what she's told and leaves the trailer and looks at Chip and says she'll do the next segment but after that I have no idea so Chip tries his hand at calming down Alex and when he goes in there he's met with a little bit of a friendlier face than the one that Bradley got and Alice confides in Chip that she's getting a divorce And really, that's the main reason of why she's so upset. So it seems like this talk has done some good and the show is back on track. After the conversation, Chip is heading back to his trailer when he gets a call from Fred, who is demanding to know why UBA and specifically morning show assistants are poking around to his privatized firefighters. Because Fred is one of those rich people who privatized the firefighting community to try to save his home. And Chip lets him know that when they started poking around for that story, they had no idea that Fred was one of the guilty parties. But Fred is pissed and he wants this story killed. So now Chip is in between a rock and a hard place because he's being strong-armed by the president of the company to kill the story that he actually wants to run. He meets with Bradley later that night and says, I'm sorry, I don't want to kill your story. I used to be you. I used to push for hard stories. But unfortunately, this is the president of the company, and I kind of have to toe the company line. And they have a nice conversation, but it's immediately interrupted by somebody coming into the bar they're at and saying, the winds have shifted, we have to pack up and get everybody out of here. Because the fire is headed in their direction. Right before Chip leaves, he turns to Bradley and says, you know what, what if 
we just said fuck Fred and ran the story? Would you be ready? And Bradley says, absolutely, I'd be ready. So that's exactly what they do. They end up running this story, and at the end of it, Chip calls Corey and says, I think I'm ready to talk about that story that you wanted. That night, Bradley is sitting in her hotel room, and she gets a knock at the door. And to her surprise, it's Alex. Alex apologizes for the way she's been treating Bradley and comes clean to the source of it that it's really her divorce that's eating at her. Bradley tells her that she doesn't have to be this closed off with her. She can be open. She can be vulnerable. And that's when Bradley opens up about her relationship and her family dynamic with her mother. And how her dad actually killed somebody when he was driving drunk. So nobody's family is perfect. And we all have our crosses to bear. But Bradley wasn't the only one getting company that night. Because Claire still wants to celebrate her promotion with her boyfriend Yanko Flores. But when Claire walks into Yanko's hotel room, unbeknownst to them, they're caught by Hannah, the lead booker, who throughout the whole episode has been popping Adderall like a stressed out freshman at Harvard. The episode ends with Bradley reading an email from of all people, Mitch Kessler, who tells her, I think I have something that you might be interested in. So here's the part where I beg you guys to uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. There's a button in the top left corner there. And if you don't see the next video for this recap, not to worry, it'll be up soon. And thanks for watching.